down by six in the fourth quarter. The St. Thomas football team got a glimmer of hope of keeping its championship dreams alive when cornerback Sean Hamlin recovered an onside kick against Wartburg. But it was all Wartburg in the beginning of the game. Knight running back Brandon Delmeyer punched through the line from four yards out, putting Wartburg up 7-0 late in the first quarter. In Knight's territory, quarterback John Gould was picked off by defensive back James Garlock, leading to a five-yard touchdown scramble from Wartburg quarterback Logan Schrader, but MSPAT made it 13-0. Your ability to pull the ball and run it with the quarterback, I think it really keeps you on your toes. St. Thomas struck back twice with a pair of rushing touchdowns. A one-yard run from Nick Waldvogel and an 11-yarder from Brenton Braddock gave St. Thomas a 14-13 lead. Wartburg answered back with another Dohmeyer touchdown, a three-yard sweep, which gave it a 20-14 lead at the half. But the Knights couldn't do it again on their first possession in the second half, settling for a 25-yard field goal. The Tommies took advantage of their next possession. Gould connected with tight end Charlie Dowdle for a 15-yard touchdown, decreasing the Knights' lead to two. Wartburg bumped its lead up to nine with a one-yard Dohmeyer run, but the Tommies kept battling. Gould targeted Dowdle again, this time on a 48-yard bomb that put the Tommies within reach. You don't get a lot of deep shots in a game, so just had to come down with it and it worked out for us. Schrader came in clutch again. This time after scrambling in the backfield, he found wide receiver Will Ebert for a 10-yard score. Down nine, St. Thomas decided to boot a 28-yard field goal and lined up for an onside kick. Hamlin recovered on Warburg's 42, and the Tommies had a chance but spoiled after Gould was intercepted by defensive back Logan Pitts, which sealed Wartburg's 37-31 W over St. Thomas. In Waverly, Iowa, Jesse Kroll for TommyMedia.com.